Hey travelers, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're gonna go back a century or so here in the financial district of Toronto and find out more about the Great Fire of Toronto. Let's get into it. April 7th, 1849 was a sad time. It was the Great Fire of Toronto, also known as the Cathedral Fire. It was the first major fire in history in the city of Toronto. Much of Market Block, which was the business core of the city, was wiped out, including the predecessor of the current St. James Cathedral. The fire was discovered at 1 a.m. near the Graham's Tavern on the northeast side of King Street and Nelson Street, now known as Jarvis Street, just behind Post's Tavern. The fire consumed Post's Tavern, then burned through the outer buildings north of Duke Street. The fire spread through the whole block, destroying the Home District Savings Bank and frame buildings to the east of King Street. The damages were estimated to be between half a million to $700,000 in Canadian, including the $58,000 thousand dollars to St. James Church alone. The loss in insurance companies was approximately $240,000. None of the buildings within Market Block, which was between 10 to 15 acres of property, survived. Most of the buildings that burned down were made of wood, so, in response, the city changed building codes to prevent future losses of this magnitude. The only remnants of the fire of 1849 is now a plaque on a building on King Street. Let's jump ahead 55 years to the second Great Fire of Toronto in 1904. This fire destroyed a large section of downtown Toronto. The fire was first spotted at 8.04 p.m. on April 19, 1904 by a Toronto police constable on his regular street patrol. The flames were rising from the elevator shaft of the ENS Courier Limited Neckwear Factory at 58 Wellington Street West, just west of Bay Street, which is now the TD Bank Tower. The factory was situated in the center of a large industrial and commercial area. The exact cause of the fire was never determined, but a fairly heated oven or an electrical problem is suspected. With 15 fire halls alerted, two engine companies and one hose company, the fire took nine hours to get under control. The glow of the fire could be seen from miles in all directions. Firefighters from cities as far away as Hamilton, Ontario, and Buffalo, New York came to Toronto with aid. The temperatures that night were approximately minus 4 Celsius or 25 Fahrenheit with winds up to 48 kilometers per hour or 30 miles per hour and there was even snow. The fire destroyed more than 100 buildings Damage on Wellington Street West and Young Street was limited because of one building, the Kilger Brothers factory, which had a sprinkler system fed by water tanks on the roof, preventing the fire from spreading in that direction. Fire caused over $10 million in damages and put over 5,000 people out of work. At the time, the city inhabited over 200,000 people. As a result of the fire, more stringent safety laws were instituted and an expansion of the city's fire department was undertaken. The fire remains the largest ever to have occurred in Toronto. There's also a film created by George Scott Incorporation about the event. It was the first shot in Toronto called The Great Fire of Toronto, a film in 1904. If you've enjoyed hearing a little history of Toronto, please give this video a like. And if you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button. I'm going to see you all next time here on Nick Tours.